afgelopen paar weken het redelijk baie interessante dingen in ons sterrenstelsel gebeur, wat alle sterrenkijkers gaande gehad het, as ook verskye sterrenbegelaars. Jupiter het vroeger van jaar in die ooste opgekom en Venus aan die totale teenoorgestelde in die weste. Maar vanaf juni 2015 tot einde augustus 2016 sal die twee planete, so sterrenkundiges dit stel, reesies jaag, soos wat Venus voorbij Jupiter beweeg. If you look towards the sunset, you'd see these two bright objects quite near the sun as it's going down. And uh, the brightest one was Venus, and the other one that you could see that sort of a, a yellow orange tint to it, um, that that is Jupiter. And it's just as they're going around in the solar system from where we are, uh, it appears they're actually sort of moving behind the sun. And so the, and in a couple of weeks' time, we will see them early in the morning as, 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 as morning planets. Now we said a sterren van naam. In this weervoorspelling, it ook aan the begin van die naweek aangedei dat er een sterren die naweek zou plaatsvind. Maar wat precies betekent dit? That was the Perseid meteor shower. Um, there are comets out there. They normally form beyond Pluto. And they're really big fr frozen balls of dust and gas and frozen water. And as they travel around, they do go closer to the sun and they start melting and they leave a trail of gas and dust behind them. And every year, as our Earth travels through space, we intersect that trail and our gravity accelerates those little particles of dust down to Earth at 70 kilometers per second. And when they reach the middle um, of our atmosphere, about 100 kilometers up, they start vaporizing because of the air friction and then they are no more. And of course people call them shooting stars or falling stars. En hoe wel daar sterre in die heel al is waarvan die mens dom nooit eers sal weet nie, meen net min dat daar een ster is wat mense dier die jare jyn nog die meeste aangegryp het. The Hollywood object of astronomy is Saturn. You have to see Saturn at least once in your life through a telescope. Saturn is so wat 1,5 miljard kilometer van die aarde af. En kenner sê, sou jy met jou motor ten 120 kilometer per uur rai, dat jy so wat 1500 jaar sou neem om by die planeet uit te kom. En in opeens enies Marupeng.